Mr. President, um, I want to ask you about Iran. The Israeli Prime Minister just gave a speech uh, very critical of their nuclear program. I want to ask if you have made it your mind to pull out of that deal. And if you do pull out of that deal, do you think, are you worried that it sends the wrong message to North Korea as you seek to enter nuclear talks with uh, Kim Jong un? No, I think it sends the right message. You know, in seven years, that deal will have expired and Iran is free to go ahead and create nuclear weapons. That's not acceptable. Seven years is tomorrow. That's not acceptable. So, no, if anything, it's proven right what Israel has done today with the news conference. And Prime Minister Netanyahu just gave a very — I don't know if everybody's seen it, but I got to see a little bit of it. And uh, that is just not an acceptable situation. And I've been saying that's happening. They're not sitting back idly. They're setting off missiles which they say are for television purposes. I don't think so. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but a lot of people think they know. And on or before the 12th, we'll make a decision. That doesn't mean we won't negotiate a real agreement. You know, this is an agreement that wasn't approved by too many people. And it's a horrible agreement for the United States, including the fact, Mr. President, that we gave Iran $150 billion and $1.8 billion in cash. Nigeria would like some of that. $1.8 billion in cash and $150 billion. You know what we got? We got nothing. We got nothing. So that doesn't mean I wouldn't negotiate a new agreement. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think, if anything, what's happening today and what's happened over the last little while and what we've learned has really shown that I've been 100 percent right. And Pre President Buhari, um, I want to ask you, you're the first leader from Sub-Saharan Africa to visit President Trump here at the White House. Um, did you address his reported comments from earlier this year when he reportedly used vulgar language to describe uh, African nations? Well, um, I'm very careful.